YouTube is full of videos about good knives. It's full of videos about bad knives. It's high time that someone makes a video about weird knives. This is Three, Three Weird, weird knives. knives. And I'm your host, JJ Jakes. Let's get weird. Alright, time for another trio of weird knives. I'm going to start off with this karambit style knife. It is a Black Legion branded knife. Um, I got this from Bud K, uh, I want to say three years ago, in a massive unboxing I did at my brother's house for his birthday. It was just a fun thing that we did for ourselves. So, sorry, none of it's on film. <laughs> but it is open assisted. Um, you have this uh, slot with holes cut out going across the blade. I don't know, karambits are kind of artistic and weird. Um, you got some brown shit there. So it's a, it's a Black Legion uh, karambit. It was one of those mystery boxes. It might have been discontinued. I don't know. Um, but... We, we, we unboxed it, we looked at it, we played with it, we marveled at the lack of utility that such a knife has. <laughs> but what we didn't notice was the thing that makes it weird. Um, on the back of it, there's this little piece that we couldn't really figure out until one day we realized it's hinged, and it actually flips open to reveal a seatbelt cutter just kind of <laughs> built in right here. You just have to... Uh, swing it open. I've never seen something like that before. It's like a transformer for mall ninjas. And I thought that was kind of cool actually because you, you know you, how many times do you have to cut a seat belt? Well hopefully never. So why have such a tool exposed all the time to cut stuff in your pocket or get snagged on things when you can just hide it away in this little compartment built right in to the Black Legion Karambit. Kind of makes it look like a little stinger, too. <laughs> Next up, I wanted to show this little knife. I'm pretty sure I might have shown it at least once before. Um, I first got this knife uh, quite a long time ago. Probably another, th yeah, another knife I got like a few years back. It's um, a stubby little chisel ground blade by Sanrenmu. Sanrenmu. Uh, which makes the you know the model 7010 and various other knives that are kind of popular in the budget minded crowd. This one is model number 7046LTX-LPR-T3 designed by Liang Gong. Liang Liang Gang. Hmm. <laughs> so what makes this knife weird is its look. I mean, look at it. You can get these in different colors. I decided to go with the green and gold because it kind of reminded me of, um, like, Zelda colors. Well, Link colors, I guess. Uh, like, it, the, it, the only thing that it's missing is, like, the Triforce symbol somewhere. And I actually really like the chisel grind. I've used this a little bit. It's really good for scraping. The Razel comes to mind. That's a pretty popular chisel ground knife. They did a really good job on the pocket clip. It is um, low ride, but they've actually countersunk the back plate of it. Uh, you can position it over to here as well and see how they did that. And um, the screws are not countersunk, but that's less common to see anyway. Although, when it is done, I do appreciate it. And it's got a glass breaker, which is actually surprisingly pointy. It's basically just um, a cone of steel, but look at that thing. You could take out a window with that. That's the idea, right? And it's got this thumb disc sort of thing, which is colored to go along with the theme of the knife. And uh, the opening mechanism is super smooth. Yeah. Yeah, you got one of those useless hex screw head things there. And in the closed position, you have a little bit of a bottle opener there. So they hide, they sort of hide, sometimes in plain sight, all these nice little features on this thing. And uh, like I said, you can get them in different colors. I've seen them in like red with gold. Uh, I don't remember all the other ones, probably blue. And um, so if you really like it, there's some collectability there. I do like the slotted parts that kind of reveal the innards. Uh, you can see the liner lock through the uh, green slots here. Um, you got a nice metal cylinder to, to sort of uh, 
plug your uh, lanyard hole there, but you also get this little uh, lanyard slot too, so lots of options. It's got a lot of character. The Sanrenmu 7046 LTX. Uh, and last on my list for this week is a knife made by Kershaw. This is called the Decoy. Uh, I have tried to wrap my head around why this knife exists and I just can't. <laughs> so let's just take a quick tour of the, the anatomy of the decoy. On one side we have these bubble looking patterns cut into the scale material which is actually quite rubberized and I like it. Um, you have the same thing on the other side, and the pivot's got like this sheriff star thing going on. Really unusual and unique pocket clip. Look at this. Just look at this thing. It hooks all the way up and around up here, and then really widens out, and you got this big hole cut out in the middle. Um, and it's got a really nice amount of tension on it. I put this thing in my pocket and pulled it out and kind of did that cycle a few times, and it's surprisingly very smooth. I kind of liked it. And you have this uh, very no notable feature sticking up out of the top uh, with some rather aggressive looking jimping, but it's not really that sharp on the fingers. It just looks that way. So I guess this is sort of like, um, it it's reminiscent of the rust lock where you're supposed to open it by swinging your thumb up like so, um, or at least when I say you're supposed to do it that way, I mean, you can open it however you want. That's just the rust lock way. I guess you can try to do it like that. Eh, that works too. And uh, what you get is a little sheep's foot blade. Uh, I do also like the choice of the zombie green for the back spacer. I don't know why they chose that color, but good on them for that. I applaud it. One of the other things I appreciate is that this uh, this lever back here, this like little crest, very neatly sits back and meets with that zombie spacer. The weird part about this knife, <laughs> you may have noticed this uh, unusual looking slot cut out by the pocket clip, where the pocket clip kind of goes around it. Now, what is that? That is the reason why I got this knife, and it's what makes it weird. Check this out. <laughs> Check it out. This knife has a built-in roach clip. <laughs> uh, what? What? <laughs> okay, so really what we're looking at is like a pair of tweezers that shoot out the back. Um, it's actually not very easy. There we go. To do. And I cannot think of any other use except as a roach clip like for real and it has a nice detent when you pull it back in listen the kershaw decoy everybody the big lebowski would appreciate this knife i'm telling you thumb up <laughs>